the cortex of stone makes tools and it makes for easy carving. This is an example of some that um, are not work stones. I just took them out of the pond and um, but I want to talk about the cortex. I don't know why they were doing that, but you can see that there is uh, small pressure flaking, maybe even little drills to remove that outer cortex. These stones, none of these match. They're just all examples. Tiny little tools out of either cortex or tiny pebbles. But I've noticed on most of these carvings, or a lot of them, that uh, the cortex of the stone, that outer layer, that soft outer layer, allows for a lot of carving easier than probably the hard stone this is the thunderbird and the snake and actually the whole figure itself is a thunderbird but uh, as with this one it's that cortex that outer part that was easier to carve on These are some that are not been worked yet. They're just broken flint that has cortex. So they have a possibility of being carved on. This one should make something really neat. I almost feel the tool right there as a scraper. Of course it's not, there's sharp edges all through this. Again, they're just pieces of uh, broken flint that have not yet been worked. But to an artist, I think they would see things. And um, embellish on them. These two, I got them when I got those, but they're kind of a mystery. This one is soft back here, but very sharp right there. And I think I saw an eye picked out on one side. Maybe not. But if this is not already a tool that's never been used, it should be. Nice handheld tool. Thumb goes right there. Fingers right back here. And it's a scraper or cutting blade. Anyway, it's really interesting. I was not looking for tools. That's why I'm surprised when I found this one. As I said, all these have sharp little edges. That just, I mean, you can feel them. You can even see them at a glance. This one I thought was like that. But I see that every edge in here has been softened. And I also think I see two elephants with their trunks together. And also possibly a bird. An 
owl maybe. This is going to be interesting to clean up and see what's what's really here. But but I got it mostly because I wanted to show that the cortex of stone gives an artist opportunity to do some carving, which is a little bit softer than the hardest part of the stone. I think this is going to be something really neat. I'll clean it with Brasso, and then if I find color in it, and I think I see it already, sort of a light orange, light yellow and orange. We'll see this again. But that's I, all I have to say about Cortex. But I have found a lot of carving in that part of the stone. Alexa, stop. I'm showing tiny pebble tools again to show that they also have some intricate carvings in them. Normally, it's just an eye that will uh, designate what type of figure it is. This could be a fish or something, but that's definitely picked out triangle eye on a tiny little blade. And this came from that situation. All of these have a figure in them, even tiny, tiny, tiny ones. I have several more tiny tools, but I picked out these particularly because they had figures in them. There's a bird. This I think is an elephant. Or I forget, but it's a real tiny tool. I'm not sure what they were using these for. I'm thinking ivory or wood. Uh, carving something decorative, but I don't know. This one I sh shown before. This one is another little blade. I expect that in it. Um, this one is a little owl, tiny little tool. The owl is on that side. This one is really interesting. It has two types of stone on it. The cutting edge is more of a crystal looking stone. And it has, it's almost so small, I can't hardly hold it. It has a bird. Um, this little cutter, all it required was just a, that triangle eye picked out there at the top. 
and it was a bird. And all of these do. There's elephants, there's birds, horse. So in these tiny, tiny little tools, there's some awesome carving. This one has two elephants with their trunks going sideways, anyway. It's like a double-edged scraper. I find it fascinating to look at these little tiny tools. Several images can be shown in them. Of course, I don't call it an image unless there's an eye, so I always look for the eyes and then, then the image can be seen. Tiny little scrapers. Focusing very well. But like I said, I find these fascinating. I have quite a collection of these tiny little intricately carved tools. Bye for now, folks. This is an example of um, a tiny pressure flaking to make this stone easier to handle, to create the soft areas, some pressure flaking and a little sanding. And this can, found, can be found everywhere. Every edge that would have been sharp has this softening part of the job done.